Hi everyone, Bob McGoy here with Computer Aided Technology. I'd like to show you a three step process today involving SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Composer. Now, this can be applied to other CAD systems, but I'm primarily focusing on SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Composer today. What you see are four individual part files that have the exact same name that you see on screen currently in the CAD system. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a reissuance of part number resulting in brand new file names inside of CAD. The geometry is not going to change, but the file name is going to change. The problem with that inside a composer is composer is based upon the file names. So once we change the file names inside a composer, we're going to start losing our work. So this explode view that has these components exploded out with the labels on them is going to be lost. Now I'm going to show you how to reverse that process and make sure when you change part numbers inside a CAD that you can easily and effectively change them inside of Composer. The first step of this is to capture what you've changed inside of CAD. Now the easiest way to do this is creating a bill of material. And what I did was I created an extra column with a blank custom property called R&D part number. By selecting the whole column for the bill of material, I can copy and paste the current part number into the R&D part number. So I do this before I start changing file names inside of CAD. So this gives us basically a snapshot in time of what the part numbers were before we start changing file names. Now I've already started the process here inside of, of SOLIDWORKS, so you can see I've already changed the first four that I needed to inside of 3D via Composer that I'm going to change here in a little bit. Now what would happen is if I were to do an update right now based upon those new file names, I would lose my work inside a Composer. So now the second step is how do I get that change into Composer? So now that we've created the bill material, we export out the bill material as a Excel file. I went and scraped out just the data I changed. I could scrape out the, the whole data set. I put the original file names on the left this time and the ones I'm going to change them to on the right. I'm going to use this file as a basis to do a batch find and replace with another tool I'll show you here in a moment. Now here's my directory with my SMG file. The SMG file is a glorified zip file. So if I right click, I'm using 7-zip, which is a very powerful zipping utility. I can tell it to extract that data into a folder. So now I have my 5761 mini loader. I go in there and you can see I've got an SMG XML file and an SMG geom file. The rest of this information is just screenshots. So what I want to do is I want to go into this SMG XML file and I want to do a modification. But coming from personal experience, I don't do a very good job of this myself. So what I found was a great little utility called Advanced Find and Replace. This can do a batch find and replace of certain text strings with another text string. This is a very inexpensive product. It's about $40 that you can buy it online. The link to this is going to be at the bottom of the YouTube video. So I'm going to come in first, I'm going to tell it what file am I going to use. I'm going to say searching in files. And I can tell it right here, add a file. Pick my XML file. I go ahead and pick the geom file anyways. I don't have to. And hit OK to that. And then I can come in and hit this button right here to import the values file. Go up one level, find that, S that CSV file I saved out of um, Excel. So now you can see I've got my original files on one side, my file names I'm changing them to, all I have to do is hit execute. It's going to say it's going to change the SMG XML file, say yes to all, and it found 111 instances of these file names inside the composer document. Hit OK, close out the file, I can open this file in composer, So I just open the SMG XML file, go to the view, I did not lose my explode view, 
the labels are updated and when I click on the actors you can see the actor name and the name in the assembly tree are correct. So what we did running down through this is we built a list of the original file names and the change file names. We then took the SMG file, decompressed it into its original format which would be the SMG XML and the SMG GEOM file. We then used a program called Advanced Find and Search to replace the instances of the old name with the new name. Open the SMG XML file and then do a save as, change the file format to SMG, and save over the top of the original file. Now that the CAD model has new file names and the composer file has the new file names, when you do a geometry update, you will not lose the work that you did inside a composer. I hope you find this very beneficial. If you have any questions, my contact information is right here on screen. Thank you and have a great day.